Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a kitchen tour. You have seen my kitchen in a lot of my videos. So if you have ever wondered what all I keep inside of my cabinets and what all I have, then this video will show you just that. And I actually got asked to do this video a few months back with one of my subscribers, but I didn't do it back then because I wanted to go ahead and organize everything before I showed you guys and that never happened. And actually my friend Caitlin over from Living That Mama Life here on YouTube recently uploaded her kitchen tour and I was watching it. I was very intrigued. I know it's a little weird to, I guess, want to know what people keep in their house or whatever, but it's entertaining. So I was inspired by her video to film this one. So if you guys are interested, I will leave the link to her video as well as her channel down in the description box. So be sure and open that up and go check out her channel. But yeah, this kitchen did not look the way it does about four years ago because when we purchased this house it was completely different we pretty much gutted the whole house and um, remodeled it and the kitchen was one of the major projects we ordered all of the cabinets online my husband and his dad and my dad installed it we just got somebody to do our granite as well as the backsplash we changed out all the floors we took out some doors opened up some spaces changed out a few layouts but that's just a whole nother story so let me stop rambling here and let's get straight into the kitchen tour and this is what the kitchen looks like. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos, then you probably are familiar with this. But if you are new, this is what it looks like. We have the off-white cabinets across the wall there, as well as on the lower cabinets. And then for the island, we have the darker, I think it's called espresso color. They're all in the same style, so they have the shaker style, I believe it's called over here so just a difference in color but everything else is the same so i'm going to start off by showing you guys around this way i'm doing the uppers and then once we finish we will move down to the lowers and finish off by showing you guys the island okay so this cabinet is actually a little bit taller and deeper than the rest because we just wanted to add some dimension here you can see there's a difference there between these two this one's a little bit further up front so in this cabinet, we have all of our mugs and cups. Over on the top, we have some charger plates that I use for Christmas, and then a few more there that I use for parties and stuff. And then I have an induction um, stove plate there that we actually used uh, before we moved into this house when we used to live over in my in-laws house. We were there for almost like three years because if you guys didn't know, Jose and I did get married when we were relatively young. We were 18 and 19, but that's a story for another day. Here we have a few more mugs. I have a salad bowl, some disposable um, aluminum pans. We have some more tumblers, the Yetis, some cups, a few more of these uh, clear mugs, some more mugs. Yes, we have a lot. I am very well aware of that and the fact that I probably need to go ahead and declutter, get rid of some things, but I just have not had the time, haven't made the time to get around to do that. And yeah, look at this cup here. This mug is actually even broken, but I just, I don't know, feel weird throwing it out. Like one of our friends actually made this for us as a gift and it has pictures of Jose and I, so I don't know. We just keep that one there. We have some wine glasses here and then some just more cups back here. And yeah, we're a Mexican family. Our family's pretty big. So I just think I like to have enough for everyone to have a glass or whatever. So that's my sort of excuse to having so many things. But yeah, moving on from this cabinet, let's move to the one on top of the range hood. And over here, we rarely ever use any of this because as you can tell, it's mostly like things I use for parties. So just for the dessert table, I have a few of like the cups for desserts, like parfaits and stuff. Some of these little bowls, um, these cute little stands that I use for cookies to have as a dessert table as well for Kaylee's party. And then we have some water containers. I don't know what you call those for aguas frescas and yeah we have another one over there so really never use these over in this cabinet we have a mess <laughs> we have a bunch of flower vases up at the top that i have just accumulated over the years 
some vitamins way up there, medicine, um, just a cake holder, cheese grater, strainer, have my greens, I have a few plastic containers because honestly I'm trying to just get rid of them slowly because I prefer glass. We have some glass pans over here, some more vitamins, a few of the spices that are too tall for my spice rack as you will see in a little bit. Um, we have some chile dorado over here, some oil and vinegar back there. Yeah, that one's a mess. And then we have our sink here, I have some dishes obviously drying in there. And I really love this sink. It is very deep. I got this one off of Amazon. If you guys are interested, I will leave the link down below. Now let's move on to this cabinet over here. So these three corner ones. This one, we have all of my glass um, containers. So like I said, I've been trying to replace all of the plastic with glass. Over the years, I just really prefer the glass. It's easier to clean, doesn't harbor the odors of the food and anything. So I really like all of these. We have some Pyrex bowls. I have all of these from Glass Lock that I found at um, Sam's for a very good price, actually. I'm gonna try to see if I can find those on Amazon, link them for you guys. And yeah, there's just a bunch of little bowls over here. Now in the corner cabinet, this one is an awkward cabinet I find because it is very deep, but the opening here is not too wide. So it's kind of hard to reach all the way back. And then this one's actually comes out even further than these two. So it is super deep. And yeah, we just have another big mess in here. Up at the top, some Crisco. I have a cake uh, spinner table thing. Some more of the glass containers in the box there. We have some snacks in here. And then some chile for our food because you know I like everything to be spicy. We have some instant coffee and just an assortment of candy and random items in here. Over here we have my hand mixer and then I have some of the quick cleaning bags for my pumps and uh, bottles and stuff. A few more vases. We have tortilla presses over here and some bottles. This one just has a assortment of bottles and like the teething pops things and I don't know just a bunch of baby items that I honestly just need to go through because most of them we really don't use them so I need to go ahead and take them out of here we have some more cups here for Kaylee we have some bowls over there we have had these black ones since we got married so almost seven years ago but I really want to replace these with some white ones just get some more because we do have these plates here but I need some white bowls and yeah we just have a bunch of plates here some uh, more these are the black ones to go with that set up there the bowls for the kids and then I have all of my breast pump parts here a few more bottles like I said this is a complete mess I just don't like how cluttered and everything is just jam-packed in there so hopefully soon I can get to this and just declutter and organize Now moving over to the last upper cabinet, which is above the fridge. We have a bunch of party things, like I have this big um, box of spoons. We have some bowls, we have some cups. I have that little party platter thing. We have some chips, we have um, napkins and some big sodas back there. I don't know if you guys can tell there but just things that have been like left over from parties or that I just like to keep around for whenever we do have family gatherings. So now moving back to where we began, we started here and made our way there. So on the counter, let me show you guys again, moving this way with all I have. We just have my diffuser here, a frame, my Google Home, um, a little spice rack that I honestly don't ever use anymore because most of the spices that I did use are all out and all the other ones I really don't ever use. Um, we have our stove here, which I love. This is an induction stove. I get asked a lot what kind of stove I have and it's an Electrolux induction. Highly, highly, highly recommend it if anyone out there is on the market for a new stove. Here we have my salt and pepper shakers. 
blenders. I have two. I have the Oster and then I have the Ninja because I'm always needing to blend up some salsas or something and it's just convenient to have both of them. I can just work faster. We have the kids drying rack thing, the sink of course, and then a napkin holder. And then recently I purchased this air fryer also because Caitlin does a lot of meal ideas and she was using an air fryer in one of her videos and I just figured I would go ahead and try because Mexican food already has enough calories and uses a lot of oil. So I was like, what better way to try out an air fryer and see if I can make that same food with less oil. So we got this one, I really love it because like you can see here, this is the Ninja, uh, Ninja Foodie I think it's called. It is pretty big and you can just flip it up so that it's not taking up your counter space whenever you're not using it and then when you need it, you just grab it and bring it down. So that's what it looks like there. So yeah, I will also try and link this one in case you guys are interested. I really have loved it. I've been using it now for like about two weeks and every single thing that I've made in it has been super crispy. I have just absolutely fallen in love with it. Now let me pick this up. Over in the corner we have my KitchenAid and then I have some little plastic containers that do not belong to me. They're my uh, mother-in-law's that I need to go ahead and just give back to her but it's been a while. I've just been storing them there. We have my Nespresso coffee machine. I really, really love this. It is so creamy and just makes the best coffee. Over here we have my microwave, which I really rarely ever use. I don't like to use it since it's not the best for you. I much rather just uh, heat up everything on the stove or even use the toaster oven. But now that we have the air fryer, I can also just use that. But I still have it out here because, I mean, it gets used every once in a while and I really don't know where else to store it for the time being. But yeah, that is all that is over on top of the counters. I really would prefer to have less items, but that's that. Now moving on to the lower cabinets. Let's start off again on this side. And in this drawer, oh, sorry, I forget that I have the lock on them. So I went ahead and just unlocked all of the cabinets and drawers. And these are the little magnetic keys that we use for the locks we have. These are just some good locks to child proof or baby proof your cabinets. If you're on the hunt for these, I will um, leave a link to them in the description box. They work really well. They're very easy to use. You just need this little key and you can just turn on or off the lock right there. It's on the on. And then with the magnet, you just unlock it. So I'm gonna turn that off real quick. And yeah, in this drawer, I have some of the cleaning cloths here. We have some HelloFresh recipe cards because we have ordered HelloFresh quite too many times and we have loved pretty much every single recipe. So I just keep it in case I want to recreate it. I have some essential oils here, some rubber bands, some measuring cups over here. I have some extra cooking spoons and spatulas here. Once again, these are like for parties mostly. I just bought a bunch of them have some more over here and then here I also keep like uh, those little toys that come in the kids meals just to give Kaylee every once in a while if she's being fussy or whatever and just keep her entertained I'll just pull one out of here we have some more over here I have my recipe um, journal here and then I just have a bunch of like the instruction manual see it was the ninja foodie yeah that was the name of it then. but I just have all of these things in here in the cabinets below that, I have all the pots and pans. So this is what it looks like. I have all of my um, lids up top, some more pans over there. I really love these. They work great with my induction stove because you do have to have special pans, the ones that are like steel, I believe it is. Aluminum just doesn't cut it. And yeah, we just have some more down here. If you're curious, this lid organizer I got from Ikea and this one is from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, this one's one of the more organized cabinets. Now moving over on the other side of the stove, we have this little small cabinet here. This is a spice rack cabinet and this is what it looks like. I really love that it's right next to the stove. So when I'm cooking, I can just easily pull this one out and get my spices. So here we have just an assortment of them. 
And that's that. These next ones here in this drawer, I keep all of the utensils. So a lot of them as you can see here. And I just have this little tiny organizer. But I really need a bigger one to just organize everything. We have the kids spoons here, the knives here, um, rolling pins, just all of the cooking utensils. In the cabinet below it, we have a bunch of stuff that rarely ever get used. I have a coffee maker. This is like the regular coffee brewer. We barely ever use this one unless I need to make, you know, a big jug of coffee since the other ones are individuals. But um, yeah, some more silverware here for parties. I have a lot of party stuff because I like to be a little extra when it comes to parties and just go all out. So I end up having lots of extras. And we have over here, we have a cutting board. This is one of those big like natural wood tree ones that we use for like tacos and stuff. We have some grilling um, items. I don't know what you call those. And we have some coolers over here. So just a bunch of coolers in here. And yeah, this one's just a big, huge mess. Moving over to the cabinets underneath the sink. I have all of the cleaning stuff. So I have the bags for the trash can, some Febreze, some Lysol, the granite spray, um, my barkeeper's friend for the stove, Mrs. Myers, just a bunch of the cleaning stuff. And then I just have some extra bags here that I use for like the small trash cans. To the right of that, we have this one, and here's where I keep like my baking stuff because there was a time before kids when I used to bake quite a bit. But we have a lot of cupcake, uh, what is it? L these little molds or whatever have a lot of them. My sisters are actually extreme couponers and they get a lot of things, so I sometimes get things that when they tell me and these cupcake liners are one of those I think that I got them for like 10 cents a piece or something I don't know so I just have a lot of those we have my little baking tips over here some decorating flowers sprinkles food colorings um, yeah pretty much the little tips for the piping bags and beneath that we have a few more of that this um, cabinet is also a little like drawer thing so you can pull this one out here. I have Kaylee's snacks. Uh, she really loves these dehydrated strawberries. I just keep those in here. We have some tea there's for Aiden. Some more of these um, baby food things. And just little snacks. I actually need to replenish that. And then in the lower one, I have abundant pans, some muffin uh, pans. We have some cake boards. And then I have some pastry bags here. Over in the corner, we have a Lacey Susan. So this is where I have like all my canned goods. So some baking stuff, peanut butter, just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and that one, and then down here, we also have some more stuff. So just spin it around real quick for you guys. All of the pantry items, I guess because we don't necessarily have a pantry closet. So I just keep some stuff in here and then the rest is underneath the island, which I will show you in just a little bit. But yeah, this is the last one before you get to the fridge. So we've made our way around. This top drawer, I have all of the lids to the um, containers. So this one's pretty well organized. Below that, it's another big mess. I have a bunch, a bunch of party stuff. Once again, leftovers, so we have the little candy melts, or not candy melts, but candy little ball things. Um, we have some more disposable cups, we have some straws, napkins, plates, covers, or whatever you call these, these pan covers. And then we have a bunch of this, like, takeout silverware, because when we get takeout, they give us this, and we rarely ever use them and I just don't want to throw them away, so I just keep them there for a lazy day, I guess, or something, I don't know, but it's a complete mess. I need to declutter and organize, so 
If you guys are interested in seeing how that process goes, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those videos. So yeah, we made our way all around in the kitchen now. So now on to the island. Over here we have a mess. Again, what's new? <laughs> I need to organize, have I made that clear? But I have a lot of the kids' bibs here and then just Kaylee's little baking hat. We have some oven mitts. Kaylee's apron, potato masher, we have a thermometer, we have cookie cutters, parchment paper, more straws, cake toppers, strainers, the pot holders, just the big huge mess in here. So let's move to the lower ones, another mess yet again. So we have all of the um, bigger pans in here. So I have all of these back here. These are somewhat organized, I would say, maybe. We have some wine. We have some water. We have a few sodas up there. We have this little three-piece thing for like salsas. I have some small little cute molcajetes, so mortar and pestle or whatever. We have some more of like my, I don't know, decoration things for parties and stuff. We have some sodas, some Coke, some Dr. Pepper. We rarely ever drink any sodas, so it takes us a good while to get through those. And we have some, this is not a trash bag. Well, it is a plastic bag, but I have some tostadas in here that I can fry up. Then we have some Gatorade back there and this big griddle uh, pot thing. I don't know what you call it. And then underneath it, I have this rack that's supposed to be to guard your sink. I don't know what you call that, I guess. Um, but I only use it on one side and then, so I just have that one there. And then this is like a cast iron griddle for the stove. In this drawer, I have the cutting boards over here. So there's cutting boards. We have some lighters, the ice cream scoop, some spoon holders, random Elmo. Sausage, I mean sausage sandwich container. We have some more of like the, um, what is this? Like the cake cutter server things. We have some more measuring cups. I have all the kids like uh, medicine syringes, the little cups over there. Some strainers over here for when we fry things. Then on this little um, organizer, if you want to say this is organized, I have a bunch of little tongs that I just use quite a lot because again if you are Mexican you know you eat things with a bunch of sides you have the repollo you have lechuga you have cilantro salsas all kinds of things so you're always needing these and I just love them so I have a bunch of them we have some soy sauce a lot of it once again from takeout that we rarely ever use and I just don't want to throw away so I'm keeping it there and see if maybe one day I make my way around to using it maybe cook up my own um, my own Asian meal or something, I don't know. But here we have some toothpicks, we have a can opener, some measuring spoons. We have a lot of these sauces, the Chick-fil-A. Once again, this is all takeout stuff that I just don't like to throw away when they, you know, give you too much in the bag. And I just keep it there. Um, we have some matches, a peeler, some more little ladle spoons, the lemon squeezer, and yeah, it's pretty much what's in there. It's quite a lot and then in this one down here we have more of pantry items so in here this is what I have we have the flour everything just needs to go into containers which I have purchased already as you, as you can see here I went ahead and just pulled out one for the spaghetti already so I just need to go ahead and do the same for the rest of them just get everything organized we have a bunch of the you know cling wrap aluminum some sandwich bags tortillas we have pasta um, cookies, just snacks around here, and then I have these on the door. These are from the Dollar Tree with some command hooks, that's all that they're hanging on. And then we have some snacks over on this side. I have all my little um, Kashi bars. But yeah, like I said, we do not have like one of those closet pantries, so this is where we pretty much keep all of the stuff here and the Lazy Susan in the corner. And we just have our command station over here, so I have a whiteboard where I like to um, write out what's going on during the month or whatever. Here on this little table we have a uh, dessert 
well, whatever you call this, this is a glass thing. So when I do some baking items, I'll just put them in here so that we can have and just on display so we can actually eat it. And we have a candle there, a little frame. We have the Keurig, which this was my first coffee maker and I really wanted it because of the color and all, but these days I rarely ever use it because I feel like the coffee is more watered down. I really do prefer the Nespresso over it. So here in the drawer, we have some saladitas, so just saltine crackers. These are like the individually packed ones. We have some Nespresso coffee, some teas. We have the marker and the eraser for my little board up there. Some coffee for the Keurig and then some more tea. And then this is the little box for the locks I was telling you guys. So yeah. Now for the little cabinets here, I have pretty much the baby food. So I have these um, milks that I had purchased because these take a while to go bad. So with all this craziness going on and you know, maybe not having milk in the stores or it being hard to find, I got these to just have around. We also have some of these puffs for Aiden little organic puffs here we have his little oatmeal cereal some more Gerber or purees whatever you call those some more over here this and then down here is another craziness going on more coffee mugs a bunch of the Nespresso coffee pods because I stocked up on that and yes yeah, just a huge mess that needs to get decluttered so I need to do that ASAP and then over here we have our trash can because I don't have one inside the like a, the cabinets, you know, like the pull out trash can. So it's over here just in case you guys were wondering. So that is all for the kitchen tour. I hope you guys enjoy taking a look inside of my cabinets. You clearly saw the mess I have. I don't have everything as organized as I wish and I definitely have more than I need. So I need to go ahead and just get rid of a few things or a lot of things and organize and declutter so if you guys are interested in that whole process i will probably be filming it so if you are not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and thank you all so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye guys